Did you even see that car coming? It's roughly 250 bucks. Every year around spring, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration sees a spike in distraction-related crashes. The Arrive Alive Tour uses a high-tech simulator, impact video, and a number of other resources to warn the public about distracted driving. This is the East Coast Tour, and we are uh, currently here, and we are trying to raise awareness for different, um, the different dangers of texting and driving, drinking and driving. All right, and then toss the glasses on for me that are over there. This simulator allows students to experience the potential consequences of driving distracted in a controlled environment. Once they get to around half the speed limit, we'll have them text uh, to us, and then we'll just keep kind of having a correspondence with them while they're trying to react to different distractions that are happening on the road. Cell phone use is one of the most recognized driving distractions. Experts say 90% of Americans have cell phones, and the majority of that 90% is 20 years old or younger. This is an important statistic because drivers under the age of 20 have the highest proportion of distraction-related fatal crashes. This experience taught me like, not to text and drive because it is possible to get in a wreck and injure yourself and others, so it is very dangerous, so try not to text and drive. Yeah, like, try to influence other people not to text and drive because it's, it's very bad, trust me, it is. You're all over the place. <laughs> These events have a powerful impact on students. It reinforces the subjects that schools and parents teach them daily. In Natchitoches, Bennett Rowland Jr., ABC 31 News.